this will come into play later on this afternoon. But what I want to show you right now, uh, since we're talking about how this database is set up, is the relationships in this database. The relationships in this database are pretty straightforward. It's basically what I just described. So here I have a list of the three tables, right? Here's the clients table, here's the items table, here's the orders table. You can see the clients table has a relationship to the orders table through that customer ID number. All right, so customer ID 100 is customer ID 100 and that you know, relates, that is related to a specific person. Same thing with the item code. The item code is the item code and it is related to a specific item within the items table. What this does is this, this is, well, this is kind of the power of a relational database. This is what I was talking about earlier. The power of the relational database is in the relationships that it establishes between data within multiple tables. So here, instead of having to enter that customer's ID number, sorry, instead of, let me, let me start that sentence over again. Each time this customer orders, instead of me typing in their city state zip code street address and all first name last name and all that stuff if I enter it once then assign them a customer ID number then I can just look them up each time and it will automatically have all of their information stored I can then associate that customer ID number with an order which is also associated with an item and so then I can associate which customers ordered what items and what those items were. Does that make sense? And you can start to see how this information, how it can play together, and how it can also be made simple to use and easy to kind of uh, analyze. That's the word I'm looking for. You can analyze this information. Okay. Queries are great for analytics. Uh, that's not the only thing that they're used for, but it is one of the primary things that you can do with queries. So for example, if we wanted to, because of the relationships that we have established with the data that we own, we could create a query that says, show me all customers uh, who live in, I don't know, Tampa, who have ordered a 17-inch laptop within the last three years. That is the type of query that we could do with this data that we have. So hopefully that'll get your gears turning and um, you'll be able to start thinking about this in terms of what you're doing with your work and the way that you may be able to use some of these techniques to get information out of the warehouses that you already have, those tables of information that you already own in your databases, how you can get information, good, solid, usable information out of that stuff, out of that data. Okay, I'm going to close this unless there are questions. Anyone have any questions? All right, then I will close this. Please let me know if you do. Raise your hand or shoot me a question message. Shoot me a chat message too if you want. Close that. And let's talk about the actual nuts and bolts, step by step, how do you create a query?